The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Before Waldstein, before Waldstein was in Europe, he was a little boy. And he one time wanted to buy ice cream. And he saw the guy selling the ice cream. And he went over and he begged his mother, can we please, can we please buy this ice cream? Can we please have this ice cream? His mother saw that the ice cream was not quite up to their level of kashras, their standard of kosher. So his mother said, uh, we really can't. He begged, he begged, he begged. Listen, it just wasn't up to their standard. It was kosher. She couldn't handle, he was begging, she gave in. He got the ice cream before he ate it. All of a sudden they saw the Chafetz Chaim, the great saintly Chafetz Chaim, leader of his generation. So his mother quickly said to him, Rafa, quick, there's the Gadol Hador, the giant of the generation, run over to him and get a blessing. So he runs over and as the Chafetz Chaim sees this boy coming, he quickly surmises what happened, that this boy just got ice cream from a place that perhaps he shouldn't. And he says to Rafa, Rafa, hi, is that your ice cream? Yes. He says, did you make a bracha on it? Yeah. You made a blessing yet? Rafal realized where the Chavetz Chaim was going and he said, no, I didn't yet. And he said, the truth is my mommy says that it's not really up to our standards, but I really, really want it. The Chavetz Chaim said, Rafal, if you throw away that ice cream, I will bless you. Little Rafal realized a blessing from the Chavetz Chaim is worth giving up the ice cream. So he threw it away. And the Chafetz Chaim said, what do you want a blessing for? He said, I want a blessing that I should make it to Israel. He said, Moshe Rabbeinu wanted to get to Israel. It must be very great. I want to. The Chafetz Chaim gave him a blessing. He should get to Israel and he should have a long, beautiful life there. He said, then the war broke out. Almost all of Rafal's family died. But the Chafetz Chaim's blessing stayed true and powerful, and Rafal made it out and made it to Israel, and became the great Rebbe Rafal Waldstein, who built a beautiful family and became a great, great tzaddik, living out his life in Israel. An unbelievable fulfillment of a promise, a blessing that he earned by throwing away the ice cream that wasn't up to his standards. My friends, we want blessings. Hashem is offering us a blessing. In life, There's ice cream you should have and there's ice cream you shouldn't have. There's the life and the physical, the way it's supposed to be and there's times we get lost in it when it's beneath us. It's not our standard. And Hashem says, please, toss it away. Be strong enough, great enough, holy enough. Be Kaddosh, be holy, sanctified to walk away when you should walk away and I will bless you and say, the Yisim Kaddoshim, you are holy. We can be holy who doesn't want the guarantee of God that we should be holy, sanctified, uplifted and close to Him. So let's march out today into the world, but with the right attitude, the attitude of uplifting the physical, of setting boundaries in the physical, of not drowning in the physical, of keeping our priorities straight so that we too may merit the blessing, not of the Chavetz Chaim, but of Hashem, that if we try and be holy, then Hashem will lift us to the holiest, holiest heights and everlasting closeness with Him. May we all merit to taste that which is the only true delight that there is. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org